Hey, what's up everybody? It's Mace, and I just wanted to do a video where I gave my opinion on the Res uh, Silent Hill 2 remake trailer that got released yesterday and the overwhelmingly negative, it seems, reaction to it on Twitter and Reddit and other forums. Um, I think it's very sad for gamers to have that kind of entitlement uh, for something that they're not actively working on themselves. And I think that the negative reaction was really undeserved, especially considering that it was Konami that was editing it together from a four-month-old build. At the very least, it could have been older than that, not Bloober Team. But anyway, here's my feelings about it. Uh, I'm glad they've kept a lot of the same puzzles. I'm also very happy about the over-the-shoulder camera angle. I just hope that they are able to turn on the targeting reticle as an option. I also kind of appreciate that there's a very a variety down to specific enemies. And we saw nurses with different head designs and covered in some sort of, you know, ectoplasm tar type stuff. We also saw normal mannequins and ones that've got catheters and silk stockings. Some of the acid spitters look slightly different too. The weapon animations looked fine to me. The gun sounds also didn't bother me. You know, I mean, it may have seemed a little loud for some people or whatever, but the guns aren't supposed to sound like they're from Call of Duty. They're not going for a realistic type thing. And the lighting on the hair was definitely strange, but I'm okay with it even if they don't fix it. Because we're finally at a point where every game has hair that moves realistically and has individual strands. It used to be that only the uh, earliest PlayStation 4 Tomb Raider games with uh, AMD Tress FX uh, hair had anything that was close to that. The only thing that I can complain about with the trailer, aside from Konami's terrible editing, which I've already mentioned, is the length. I'm glad there's still Angela, Eddie, and the front side of Laura for newcomers to see in the inevitable story trailer. You remember in the first trailer we did see Laura from the back. They are not what this trailer was about. If you want to see what Maria looks like, you can see it from the remake statue, and we know what Mary looks like from the box art. I'm sure the next trailer will focus completely on the story, but there's no need to rush it. I'm completely dumbfounded that Sony managed to put on an E3 le level presentation so early in the year, and I feel completely spoiled, especially as a huge Godzilla fan with the Minecraft and Dave the Diver stuff. I also finished the short message and absolutely loved it. The only thing is that the ending was really, really difficult, and I almost gave up on it. And if I wasn't live streaming it, I probably would have, because it's definitely kind of trial and error and just sort of guess there's not really any logic to trying to find anything in the end but i loved everything else about it including the graphics the fmvs and the monster design it didn't feel like a short message at all it, it felt like a full length you know 10 to 15 dollar game if i have any gripes it's that i want a kill zone collection on ps5 or new game on the series that actually looks better than the E3 trailer that I was fortunate enough to be there in Los Angeles to see in person. But I'm sure Silent Hill 2 will be fine. I get that I'm probably in the minority, but I'm very happy with what we saw. They just seriously need to hire somebody else to edit it next time. I wonder if the same person edited the unreleased Townfall trailer that we will get eventually that is also based on a very old build. And going down to the editing, uh, specifically what I'm talking about is the cuts, uh, the poor audio mixing, and the uh, unnecessary cloud transitions. I would have rather seen a few more seconds of gameplay. Anyway, I don't think there's any reason to worry about it, and I don't think there's any reason to be super negative about it. I just wish everyone could see that and that they would be able to relax and see that the game is still a ways off and we still haven't seen the best of it yet. And considering that this was from an old build and that 
The final game will probably look and control better than this, which we don't even know how it plays because we don't have a demo, that everybody should just, you know, cut it out and realize that everything will be fine. Anyway, that's my opinion on it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like or subscribe. Please consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.